when I was in the Arise, Arise program, this was a program with 10 students, and it was small, five students in each room. And so you had more capability to deal with kids on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Mm -hmm. And I had one that was, he came in shy, stayed away from everybody, and everybody stayed away from him because he wasn't uh, social. So I took him under my wing and helped him along. I helped him with his work and the whole night. He opened up to me and started telling me that, you know, the situation at home and a single mother and the whole nine. And I don't know, it just touched me to the point where I, I just took him aboard, yeah. worked with him all the time. He was a student that I took to work in the community. Uh, he never experienced that. Uh, he couldn't look you in the eyes when he conversated with you. I, I worked with him on that, nice firm handshake. Always talk to people, look them in the eye. Um, There's various things that I do depending on, on the student, but that was one of my strong assets with a lot of students, that I just take them under my wing and work with them, and work with them, yes. Well, I will tell you that there was a time way back where I had a student who was going up the slide. He would take two or three steps and then wouldn't go any further. And I took him foot over foot up to the top. We did it maybe four or five times. Once we did it, and I challenged him to take another step, take another step, he would do it by himself the next time. The next time he would do it another step. And finally he'd make it to the top, and finally that kid student was going up to the top of the stairs by himself and sliding down. It's knowing how to push him, when to push him, and to get them to overcome some of the fears because they've never experienced the things that we put them through. One of our students who joined us about a year and a half ago when she was three years old, um, and she came to us, she has a disorder called Rett syndrome, and she has a lot of physical impairment. And working with our physical therapist, we are able to customize her program so we take her discrete trial instruction time where we're working on things one-to-one -one, and we have made um, picture sequences and different things together in collaboration with our physical therapist so that student can receive her therapy services every single day with all of the staff that she works with. So she still sees her physical therapist for an hour and a half a week separately, but she and I are able to meet and collaborate, make materials, train the staff, and then follow through on all of those programs so that she spends at least an hour a day working on mobility and functional skills that will help make her strong and help keep her body as active as we can keep it for as long as we can. Well, there's one particular individual that works with me and his co-worker. Um, when he first started working there, he had many difficult challenge of working with me and also working with the warehouse supervisor. Mm -hmm. And one of his weakness was lack of communication, where if he has a question or is it something he's doing wrong, normally the average person will come and let you know what's going on. With this particular individual, you will have to figure him out. And a lot of times when he's doing a job task and he's off a task, he's not going to communicate with you. So the biggest thing that I have to learn is to watch him, observe him, and see how he interacts and see if he knows what he needs help in moving particular boxes. Riding a bike. I've had a student who wouldn't sit on a bike because he never sat on a bike. And this is a tricycle. It's very safe. It's not going to tip over. It has all the straps. I got him in, I put his feet in, he didn't want to get his feet off the ground because he had some uh, gravitational insecurity problems. Now he's riding a bike. I mean, it's safe because it's a three-wheel bike. It's not a bicycle, it's a tricycle, but he's riding it. And he's getting the exercise that he needs. Mm -hmm.